Hi, everybody. OK, <clears throat> this session is going to be about brands and music. So let's start with some music, OK? What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a piece on my flute. And I want all of you all to close your eyes. Don't go to sleep. I know it's just before lunch. <laughs> and uh, after uh, I finish playing, you'll open your eyes. But while you were listening to the music, don't analyze it. Just go with the flow. And you'll probably see some images. You'll feel some emotions. It may trigger some memories. And we'll have a little chat about what you saw and felt after I finished playing. OK? So eyes closed, everybody. No cheating. OK, you can open your eyes. You're allowed to clap. <laughs> OK. Uh, uh, does anybody want to start? Let, let's start with just one word each of any image you saw, any emotion you felt, any color, anything. Yeah? One word? Paddy Fields and Hills. Paddy Fields and Hills, yeah? Buffalo. Buffaloes, yeah? Morning. Morning. Wow. River. River. Is everybody broadly in agreement? Peace. Yeah? Peace. OK, fantastic. So this was to demonstrate the power of sound. And the reason that all of you are feeling like this is not by accident, it's by design. This is a particular scale or rag called Hamsadwani, which literally means the song of the swan. right? And it gets its particular character because it uses only five notes in the scale. It uses what is called, it's a pentatonic scale, right? OK, so these five notes are. OK? And because of this, it gets a very melodious character. There is no way anybody in this room would have seen night. It's impossible. You would have had to see day. You would have had to see morning. And because of the construction of these notes, you see greenery and you see Paddy feels and you feel peace. Now, if I play the first three notes again, and I just change the third note. So I'm playing the original three notes. I'm going to change only the third note. You've gone to dusk, right? <laughs> from, from morning, you've gone to dusk. And this is the power of sound. So what we do, really, is and this really, we believe, is, a, is part of the future of communications, which is, uh, OK, sorry. Uh, OK, where do we go? Yes. Is map the science of music to the personality of brands. Yeah? And we know that every brand has a certain personality, has a certain emotion. So how do you evoke a brand, a natural brand, that wants to communicate a sense of peace and quiet, well, music can do that. Or a brand, a motorbike brand, that wants to evoke exhilaration and excitement, music can do that. Or a country brand that wants to evoke sustainable tourism, 
<laughs> music can do that. <laughs> yeah? So this is really the space that we are occupying, and that's what brand music does, design and manage the sonic identity of a brand. And we say that every mo logo needs a mogo, or a short form for musical logo, right? And this is something we did for Vistara. Have a listen. The airlines. Okay, so uh, I cut it short, but essentially we use the human voice to communicate caring because it is a combination of Tata, uh, uh, the brand Tata and Singapore Airlines, both of, of which are into caring a hell of a lot. So that's what we call the Mogo. And let me play something else. This is something we did for HDFC Bank which wanted to communicate a sense of constant movement going into the future and a very Indianness. Okay, got that? And that's the Mogo. In a shorter form. And yeah. So coming down to sound and its power, um, we can use it well for brands, and this is a small video to just end off. Thank you. <laughs>